Hey everyone, I'm John, your friend in tech, and today I'm vlogging at the Google office. Hey everyone, I'm John, your friend in tech. If you're new here, I'm a software engineer at Google working on building Android and the Google Pixel, just like the Pixel 6 Pro. And it's actually 10.40 right now. I technically started my work day at 9.30, which is when I got on the bus in San Francisco. So it took me about an hour to get here all the way down to Mountain View, which is actually pretty fast compared to normal Bay Area traffic. But I'm very grateful that I'm able to get my work done on the bus so I'm not having to stay in the office for super long. I'll probably make a separate video on my feelings of returning to the office, but I'm gonna save that for a future vlog because it's literally my second day back in the office and I needed some time to like process how I really feel about whether or not it's actually worth going into the office so stay tuned for that. So today's not going to be a typical day in the life vlog. I'm actually going to format this vlog a little bit differently. I asked on my YouTube community page what I should vlog about when I'm going into the office so I'm going to structure this vlog around all the questions that I received on that post. So if you want to be a part of the community feel free to subscribe. I'm always answering every single comment that I get and I always have so much fun talking with all of you. And on that topic I asked on my last vlog where everyone is from and I got so many responses. So if you're new here and you want to comment where you're from do let me know in the comments. It's really motivating for me to see how my videos are really reaching so many people and it, honestly I'm, I'm just super grateful for it. <laughs> but yeah I went down to the barista to get some coffee. Like I said I do have a meeting at 12 but I'll just answer the first question right now which is how do I stay organized for daily tasks and daily weekly tasks plus having entry-level team members that you help or review code. So thanks TJ for asking this one, I know you always comment on my videos. And I actually keep track of everything in a Google Doc and on my Google Calendar. It's a three row table, the first row just says the date, and then the second row is when I include any meetings that I have for the day, and then the third row is basically a list of checkboxes of things that I want to accomplish that day. And then underneath that I organize my notes by projects. Basically I'm able to see my week at a glance and then I'm also able to see you know where I am with all my different projects. And then we also have an internal bug tracking tool like Google so I'll link to the different bugs but basically I keep all my notes for myself in my Google Doc and I highly recommend just taking notes in general. All right I've actually been talking way too much I need to go to my meeting I'll catch up with you all in a bit. Alright, so I'm just done with my meeting and I figured it would be a perfect time to check in because the next question is how do I deal with difficult tasks and how do I coordinate with my team? So the meeting I just had was a weekly meeting that I have with everyone on my team and it's kind of like a typical stand-up where basically everyone updates on their status. So what you worked on in the past week, what you're going to work on this week, and if you need help with anything, how do I coordinate with my team? It's basically what it boils down is to like, you know, effective communication. Hey, I need help with this. Can you help me? Hey, I'm stuck on this. This is what I've tried. For a difficult task, I mean, it varies so much. So I think software engineering is such a collaborative field where it really encourages people to work together on certain things because the code base is huge and you know, you're not gonna be an expert in every single thing. And so it's very important that you learn how to ask questions. And one of the benefits of working at Google is working with such smart people. And so if I do get stuck on something, then chances are I'll find someone that can help me out. But right now I'm getting pretty hungry. I'm gonna see if anybody wants to go and eat lunch and then I will come back and check in. All right, so I'm back from lunch. I had such a great meal and such a great time being able to just hang out and talk with my teammates. I realized that I very much missed the social aspect of being in the office and just like talking about whatever. But on the topic of lunch, I do have a couple of questions about the food. So any free food at the office? Yes, all the food here is free. The food and the drinks, we have a barista, we have cafeterias. One of the main perks that people always say about working at Google is the great free food. And I do think that it is such a great perk because after cooking at home, you know, it's nice to have like a professional do it. I know somebody asked about, you know, would love to see the gym and focus on the healthy food options available. Everyone always films the pizzas and the burgers. Today I had like teriyaki chicken and I had some vegetables and rice and that was a pretty fulfilling meal. So I hope you enjoyed that little clip of me eating healthy food. 
One thing about the junk food is that there is a lot of junk food here. Like all the snacks are pretty much junk. All the packaged snacks are pretty much junk food. There's like literally candy, there's sodas. And really it's on you to choose to eat healthy. They do try and do like psychological barriers so that people will tend to go towards the healthier food options. So for example, all the fruits and stuff are on top of the counter, very easily accessible, easy to see. All the snacks are hidden away in drawers. So you actually have to pull out the drawers to see what snacks are in there. And I think these are really helpful because if I see a snack and then it's like, oh man, I'm craving it. It is harder to say no. And so it is nice that they provide these little barriers to encourage healthy eating habits. So one of the snacks that I do eat is this bag of popcorn. It's organic popcorn. It's 100 calories. So still not the healthiest thing but it is still relatively healthy. I also ate like two bananas and then a pack of peanut M&Ms so it all balances out. And I went to the gym yesterday so I'm not going today but I'll hop down there see if it's full or not. If it's empty I'll take some video but if it's not empty then you'll just have to subscribe and wait for another vlog where I go to the gym. Yeah so so far I had coffee, had my meeting, had lunch and now I'm about to go to my desk and actually get some work done. Someone asked, I want to see the real life hustle and not just the fun parts. The difficult aspects of being a software engineer at Google and things that you're allowed to do and things you're not allowed to do. A lot of software engineering is coding and thinking and that's like not really something you can totally show on a video and because you know a lot of the work is confidential and so you can't really show that. But yeah, I'm excited to get to my desk and get some work done and I will check in with you in a bit. <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? I am on a break right now, so I figured I'd answer a few more questions. First one is, how should a university student prepare for joining as a software engineer intern? I am planning on making a whole video on this, but I think a good place to start is to know where you're standing. So make a resume right now and see what's on there. And then another good place to look is actually at intern applications and see what are companies actually looking for? What do they want to see on your resume? And see if you're missing any of those things and then Try and figure out a way on how you can build up your resume to become someone that they would want to hire. Someone asked, we want to see something that other YouTubers don't show. I was walking around and I noticed that there's a new sign, so this is what it looks like. <laughs> Hopefully no one else has shown that yet, but it's new to me at least. And then I also have a question, how is making friends like in the office and switching careers? So I don't have any advice for switching careers because I haven't gone through that process myself. But for making friends at Google, I think it is really dependent on your team culture. Like I do feel like some of my coworkers are my friends. I'm actually friends with people that I sat with my first day in orientation and we have like a little group chat going even like five years strong. But that's just my personal experience. And then I have another similar question, vlog your friends at Google and how many friends do you have at Google? So I am a little bit private about my YouTube channel in terms of my coworkers. I do feel a little bit weird about like talking about that and I know people don't want to be on YouTube so I don't want to like bust out my camera and just start filming. So I'm trying to be very mindful of like what I do and don't show. And so if any of my coworkers are watching, I know a couple of you know about my channel and you want to be on my YouTube video, do let me know. I'd be happy to put you on here. But yeah, even like in my personal life, I don't really vlog with my friends around because I get like secondhand embarrassment. I feel like there's so much pressure of like talking to a camera that it's even harder when people are there to watch. Maybe it's something that I'll, as I feel more comfortable with, I'll start putting more people in my videos. And then somebody asked me to show the CEO desk and other employee rooms. <laughs> I, don't, I actually don't even know where Sundar sits, but I probably wouldn't be able to show his office. I only show on my channel things that I'm allowed to show, and so you won't be seeing anything confidential. Um, but I can show you like some of the public spaces that we have. I also have a question about, can you share the manager attitude and the environment among those at the workplace? Are they toxic or are they an example for us to follow? Thank you. So this is highly dependent on your team and your specific manager. But for me, I feel very grateful and privileged to be on a team where I do feel like what I say matters and that they value me as a person. We actually had a one-on-one -on -one the other day and I feel very validated when I brought up my concerns and feel very at ease of like making sure I'm not going to burn out on a new project and just things like that. So I don't think what I'm saying as like a fact, 
it really just depends honestly and that's the unfortunate part that there are good managers and there are bad managers but there are questions you can ask when you're interviewing to make sure that there are no red flags with a hiring manager and maybe i can make a separate video on that if anyone is interested and then the last question i'm going to answer during this break is most people quit their jobs you seem like your mindset is completely different having worked for many years what drives you how do you stay consistent even after making a million if you haven't seen my video where i talk about how i made one million dollars as a software engineer at google i will link to it oh man there's so many people here i feel nervous talking now um but yeah this is a good question for me to reflect on i do feel like i have experienced burnout i think what has helped me throughout the years is really working on projects that i genuinely find fun and fulfilling just being in a very collaborative role has been really helpful. I have been debugging really hard and complex issues that are really mentally draining and it's just, it's just not as fulfilling as you know doing all the fun work. So I do think having some kind of balance is really important because at the same time all this bug fixing is really important for the users to have a great experience with their phone but it's also really important for me as an engineer to really enjoy the work I'm doing too. Anyways, gotta get back to work and more people are coming so I'll talk to you in a bit later, bye! All right, so I figured I'd answer a few more questions. So I have a question basically asking what does Google provide their employees? And so I have a laptop, I have a MacBook Pro, and I also get a phone. This is the Pixel 6 Pro. And we have options on what kind of phone we want to use, but you know, I work on Pixel, so I want to have the latest and greatest. I want to be able to use what I actually build so that I can make the product even better. I have another question asking what is it that I'm working on and all the projects I'm working on right now are confidential but a lot of my past work is actually available if you're using an Android device you're probably using the stuff that I've worked on and I have an entire video of what kind of stuff I've worked on in the past basically a lot of motion and animation stuff on the home screen and throughout the system always looking to make things better make things more polished and to provide a better user experience so I get another question about how do I start projects and handle deadlines and what type of deadlines do I have we work on hardware devices so we have deadlines to make sure we have the software ready in time to be put on the hardware so that they can get released on time and then we also have like a whole bunch of other different deadlines that are very much internal to our processes and yeah that pretty much sums up all the questions that you all asked me now that I'm returning to the office on a more frequent cadence I do plan on making more vlogs so do let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about or to cover if you want to see my other day in the life vlogs I also go to the San Francisco office I'll put up a playlist right here with that said I'm about to pack up and head to the bus so I'll see y'all later